relation to a recent submission on the floor of parliament by the speaker, summoning the Minister of Defense and that of National Security, requesting for a briefing on the government's efforts to avert a looming conflict between the Mo and Wangara communities in the Kintampo North Municipality. The Mo community at a press conference addressed by a member of the Kintampo Council of Chiefs and head of the Lila clan, Nana George Nsinya, disclosed that the House of Parliament was ill-informed on the substantive matter that brought about the conflict between the two factions. We are making a brief statement and that is this case has been discussed in Parliament. After hearing it, we got to know that even though they talked about it, but the facts were not there. So we want to bring out the facts to let them know why we are saying Fanyinama should not celebrate the, his Bankadi festival. The Mo community who are opposing the celebration of the Bankadi festival elaborated the reasons why the Wangra settlers led by Nana Fanyinama III are prevented from holding the festival this year. He has been here for years, from his grandfathers to this day. They've been celebrating the Bankadi. He has been celebrating it for years. Why this year? Why are we saying no this year? He started calling himself chief of Kintampo. Finding the most two lands. Selling our land. He came out with a map. Four miles radius. Five. five saying that Kintampo is his. There are so many things he does we cannot just say all. But then things he does, shooting guns when he's coming home, what and what, things like that. Nana George and Senior further noted that the two factions at an earlier meeting with the regional minister and signed by both parties resolved that Nana Fanyanema respects a ban on all activities, including the celebrations of the Krubi festival. We met on several occasions. Finally, we ended at uh, the regional minister's office. We discussed it and we all agreed. We all agreed. I have to say it with all emphasis. We all agreed. And we signed a document. He signed it himself. We signed it also saying that he will, not. he will not celebrate. He took his copy. We also took our copy. But things he's doing now, if we are not patient enough, we will pick up guns and fight. They emphasize that Nana Fainama is solely the chief of the Wangra community and the Mo community will use all available means to stop the celebrations of the festival this year. He's a Wangara chief. That's all what we know about him. Apart from that, he's nothing. He can go to Accra, open his mouth and say anything. But the reality is, he's Wangara chief here. We respect him there. And we are not against him on that. But he's trying to claim that we are under him both Nkransa and Mo, and that is why we have taken this action. The youth of the area who have pledged their full support to the Nananum of the Mo community says they suspect something fishy between the Wangra community and the Bunu East Regional Minister. I was part of the, the chiefs who went to sign the resolution, which Fanyama accepted that he will not, he will not celebrate the festival. We don't know what has gone back, that he is now poised to celebrate the festival. Today we have heard the regional minister has come here to meet some sections, but we, those who met with him, signed the agreement. He refused to meet us. Why? That signifies or shows that there is something fishy going on, which we don't know yet. With the climax of the Bankadi festival less than 24 hours away, the Mo community says no amount of intimidations will stop them from fighting for their rights. And here can say, "Yen pene mani celebrity adi ano omo pa yen ko fa soja fo ni na mbeku kinta po ni yen kumi yen na ne mo yin say Ghana ayi no kure mai Ghana ayi no kure mai obi be kan no kure no kure ne pe se daddy ma kinta po ni asumbi ne yin yen trend together asumbi mo. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Kintampo.